The biggest news is not even real super important news, but right now it's pretty ginormous news. Lewis Reddick, who might be the hottest name in the GM search out of nowhere, is now interviewing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. According to Ian Rappaport, he joins a long list of the Colts' Ed Dobbs, the Chargers' JoJo Wooden, and the Titans' Ryan Coden, along with Brandon Hunt and Omar Khan, in-house candidates for the Steelers. What are your thoughts on this interview of uh, Reddick coming in? You know what? I, if nothing else, I'm very happy they at least brought him in uh, for an interview. Um, Louis Riddick is one of those guys to where he's very, very well respected around the league. And I yep. feel like every year, um, you know, because he's been doing work in the media the last couple of years, every cycle, um, it seems that his name is always kind of thrown into these talks. And he's just like a, a well received guy, no matter who you talk to, no matter where you go. Um, you know, a very, very sharp football mind. Uh, you know, he had a few years as, you know, director of pro scouting, you know, director of player personnel there uh, following his playing career. So, I I don't know what he would look like as a journal manager it's just because he doesn't necessarily have the like, GM experience behind him. Uh, but I, I really think that Riddick should be a top candidate for his job moving forward. Yeah, I, I think it's exciting. But at the same time, yes. there's a couple things that concern me. For one, he has not been in an NFL personnel position since 2013. Say what you want. The NFL is a new game since 2013. So that's got to le- leave a little bit of worry. Two, I feel terrible for whoever gets the job if it's not Lewis Riddick because now they have become Mason Rudolph. They're the guy that, well, it could have been Lewis Riddick. One bad season, it could have been Lewis Riddick. It doesn't matter who it is. I think every Steelers fan at this point just kind of like wrapped it around their head like Riddick is the best option that we have and the Steelers need to hire him. Um, I mean, is he? is is Riddick immediately jumped to number one or is that just like a, oh this guy's a popular name we should get he should get the job uh probably in the hearts and minds of the fans yeah I, I would definitely suggest that he might be the number one guy but um whenever we, you look at in-house guys uh, you know like Brandon Hunt like Omar Khan um, you know, I, I still feel like those are probably the the two lead guys in the driver's seat, in the co-driver's seat, I guess, to take the job for, you know, Pittsburgh's GM role after Kevin Colbert's contract expires after the upcoming draft. Um, and, you know, you also have to remember, this could just be the Steelers and seeing what else is out there and maybe, you know, perhaps trying to get another perspective on, you know, their organization, you know, what they should or shouldn't do, what someone else would do and cover Colbert's shoes this offseason. But I, the, the fact that they're they are even interviewing him, uh, at least in my head, is a, you know, a, a sign of them taking the right step in the right direction. Yeah, I agree with that one. And I do like the way that they're going with this. It seems that there's a strong approach to the scouting department, which could leave Khan as the outlier in this uh, equation, which I would feel bad. I think Omar is definitely worth a shot at a GM job. At the same time, I think Brandon Hunt is as well. And I love the direction of a scouting department. I think that if you're going to hire a GM, you want somebody who understands how to evaluate talent pretty much better than anybody else out there. The business administration, I get that stuff, and that will come in hand. You know what I mean? You will find places where it's like, okay, well, this guy is incredible at signing free agents. The scouting department, you're going to get more like, this guy is the best drafter in the NFL, or he signs the best free agents. Contract-wise, it could get a little iffy. Seems that that's the direction that they're going. If it comes down to to Riddick, is there – I kind of feel as if Riddick is the only real outside candidate at this point. I think the other ones kind of just feel like for show, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, and um, I would say he's probably the best suited on on the outside as well, because if if we're keeping it a buck, I mean, everybody expects either Hunt or Khan to be named the the Steelers GM. You know, it's just how the Steelers move. They've always been the kind of organization to keep things in-house. Um, you know, and, you know, keep everything fluid from within as opposed to bringing out an outside hire. Uh, but that being said, if you are looking at outside candidates, Louis Riddick's got to be number one. And he's been number one for, you know, at least a lot of teams in recent memory whenever he has taken a couple of, uh, of interviews. And if I remember correctly, I think he turned down a job or two over the last couple of years as well. So, you know, so he could have easily already been in a GM role elsewhere in the NFL. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, whenever an opening for a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers pops up, you at least want to go in and throw your hat in the interview ring, right? Uh, yeah. But just, just like just circling back, though, 
I don't know. I don't think worry is the right word. Um, do you think that the Steelers are just like, they are so hell bent. Sorry. Final question. Do you think they would actually go outside of their realm of Pittsburgh and hire somebody like, like realistically like, interviewing is one thing, right? Because, you know, you, you kind of have to, as part of the process, do you think they would bring in somebody outside for this like major position that they're about to see vacant for the first time in a very long time? It's very tough to say because that's the thing. It is vacant for the first time in 20 years. So not only are you changing quarterbacks, but you're changing GMs. And I think that almost coincides with each other to say, well, if you're going to change one, might as well change both and change the whole landscape of this thing. You stay with Brandon Hunt or Omar Khan, you're not really changing the landscape. You're just kind of moving with the flow. At that, at the same time, though, the flow has worked pretty well. For 20 years minimum complaints about 20 years of flow Uh, understanding that we played through the Steelers just played through the greatest quarterback of all time who was the greatest winner of all time so hard to win a Super Bowl when the greatest winner of all time is winning Super Bowls still racked up two of them went to three of them it's it's tough to say oh well the Steelers should change their ways because they need to adapt. Well, they haven't adapted. Things have worked out pretty well. Um, the that, league is that, changing, that's, though. That's also another thing I didn't even think about. Um, whoever gets the GM job in Pittsburgh will probably have their say in who's going to be the quarterback of the future, whether oh, it's yeah. Mason, whether it's Haskins, whether it's getting somebody through free agency, whether it's trading, whether it's somebody you know through their draft. Um, so I, th- th- this is a very big hire because you know whoever said general manager – feel strongly about in black and gold moving forward under center that's probably going to be the guy so i I didn't even think about how much of who they envision that quarterback is going to kind of play and whether or not they get the job yeah and i think the decision will be made before the nfl draft i don't know if they'll announce it until after the nfl draft but i think they'll have their guy in place i think that guy will work with kevin colbert and mike tomlin throughout the draft process which gives hunt and con a major upper hand in this entire situation because they're already there. They've already been scouting and they've already been working with Colbert for months on who the next quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be. So they're obviously going to have an upper hand in that, in that role. That being said, I don't think it's the determining factor. There's a lot of things that a general manager does, and this is the future. It's not just the quarterback position. It's the entire organization. I'm not going to say that it's impossible that they rule out an outside hire. I will say that if they are, it's got to be some splash hire like Lewis Riddick. Otherwise, there's like almost no chance they're going outside. Yeah, I, I didn't even think um, how important the the relationships are for a potential general manager to come in and have relationships with ownership, with the head yeah. coach, and obviously, you know, with the roster as well. Like you already pointed out. Um, Hunt and Con already have very well established relationships within you know, the organization, um, you know. So how much of that is going to factor in whether or not they want to bring in an outside guy? And like you already pointed to, Kevin Colbert can vouch for either of you know Con or Hunt. You know, Kevin Colbert knows exactly who those guys are. Uh, you know, you know from a professional perspective, from a personal perspective. Um, so you know, they definitely do have the upper hand here. And you know, like we already talked about this is the Steelers, right? I mean, they, whenever it comes to jobs like this, they typically never go outside of the box, right? You know, you can always bring them up through the organization, do this, do that. But we have to remember the last time a major position was up for grabs like this, they did go outside of the box. Mike Tomlin was not supposed to be the Pittsburgh Steelers head coach. He was, whenever Bill Cowher retired, it was not supposed to be somebody from outside the organization, but they did due diligence. They brought him in for an interview. They really liked him. And now, no, here we two are. Two Super Bowl appearances later, here we are. And, you know, we, with a significant position opening up, I, we might see the same thing. And like you said, if you're going to do any splash higher, it's going to be Lewis Riddick. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how it, that's what it comes down to. I think at this point, heading into the next phase of free agency, which is the combine, your three top targets for the Pittsburgh Steelers are Hunt, Khan, and Riddick. And I think we, at this point, it's just move forward. Who Who do you like best? Pick one of those three. And I, it, it'll it'll be a conversation to have. And like you said, it's going to be time. They haven't even officially interviewed him yet. They haven't announced it. So 
it, it'll be a while before that decision's made, but I'd say that, yeah, you, I agree. Riddick's the only one. 